Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Berkeley County Board of Education meeting this Tuesday, February 26, 2019. I call this meeting to order. I declare a quorum is present and the media has been notified. We'll now entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan. A second by Reverend Spann to approve the agenda. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. We'll now entertain a motion to approve the minutes for the board meeting of February 12th, 2019. So, so Madam Chair. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Wright, a second by Ms. Condor, to approve the minutes of the regular meeting on February 12th, 2019. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The motion carries. We'll now entertain a motion to enter into executive session. Make the motion. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Ramsey, a second by Reverend Spann to enter into executive session. The stated purpose of executive session is the discussion of a contract matter with contract cons construction, the discussion of pending employment matters, and to hear four student expulsion appeals. Is there any additional discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We are in executive session. Now entertain a motion to return to regular session. So moved. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan, a second by Wofford to return to regular session. I'd like to state for the minutes that no action was taken in executive session. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We're back in regular session. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and moment of silence. Next, we'll move on to agenda item 4A, legacy builders and special recognitions. I'd like to apologize for our special recognition that we're so far behind tonight. We had lots of things going on, so apologies. But I'd like to recognize Ms. Katie Orvin Tanner um, for our legacy builders. Good evening, Madam Chair, Superintendent Ingram, members of the board, and all of you who have joined us here tonight. Uh, it is my pleasure to get to introduce this month's um, legacy builders. Um, the first I'm going to begin with is our School Nurse Administrator Award. The DD Tuning School Nurse Administrator Award was established in 2011 and 2012 by the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control and the South Carolina Department of Education to publicly recognize a registered nurse functioning in a school nurse administrator supervisor role who excels at administrating and coordinating quality school nursing and school health programs. The award is presented each year at the annual school school nurse conference. The school nurse uh, or annual awards are an acknowledgement by their peers of the example of excellence which they demonstrate to their fellow administrators, to their district nurses, and to the school community they serve. Ms. Cammie Tidwell was recognized by the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control and the South Carolina Department of Education at the annual school nurse conference as the South Carolina School Registered Nurse Administrator of the Year. Ms. Cammie. Thanks 
<laughs> Cut me off guard. Um, I would just like to thank everybody um, in the district, all of my nurses, um, all of the administration for your guidance and your support. I definitely wouldn't be here if I didn't have you guys in my corner. So thank you. Okay, for our second Legacy Builder tonight, in 1999, the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control and the South Carolina Department of Education added the South Carolina School Health LPN of the Year Award to publicly recognize outstanding contri contributions of a licensed practical nurse providing school health services in our state. The awards are presented each year at the annual school nurse conference. The school nurse annual awards are an acknowledgement by their peers of the example of excellence in which they demonstrate to their fellow nurses and to the school community. We were lucky to not only have Ms. Cami Tidwell recognized at the state level, but Ms. Karen Van Cleve was recognized by the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control and the South Carolina Department of Education at the same annual school nurse conference at the South Carolina Health as the South Carolina Health LPN of the Year. So please help me in welcoming Ms. Van Cleve. I would like to thank everybody and my peers um, for allowing me to receive this honor because it is without my peers, my nurse sisters, and my students and their parents that I'm here today. And I always treat them the way I want to be treated health-wise, psychologically, and treat the whole body. And I think receiving this honor has showed me that I have done that for these folks. So thank y'all, everybody. Congratulations to both of you. I definitely think it's a t testament to Berkeley County that we went to the state conference and t brought home two state awards uh, for excellence. Um, I know that many of us have experienced some situations where our nurses saved kids' lives. Um, they stepped in, they reacted, um, and they saved lives. Uh, so we appreciate what y'all are doing, and um, I hope you know how much you are loved and needed and appreciated um, and how much our students and our staff depend on you every day. So thank you so much. So if you waited really a long time to get recognized, I'm sorry, but now is a good time for you to get to go home. If you've been sitting here for a while, you don't have to sit through a board meeting, but thank you all so much. We appreciate what you've done. Feel free to stay. You don't have to go, but if you'd like to tiptoe out, no, no judgment. Um, we'll move on now to uh, agenda item 5A, citizen comments. In order to conduct the meeting in an orderly and efficient manner, we ask you honor the following guidelines. Stakeholder comments are welcomed and encouraged. However, the board will not take immediate action on public comments at this meeting. Any person wishing to address the board must register prior to the meeting. Comments must be regarding programs, policies, or procedures. Comments regarding complaints against employees other than district level executives or references to students other than the child of the speaker will not be heard in public session. Groups addressing the same topic should select one speaker. Comments will be limited to three minutes per speaker. The board chair reserves the right to allot additional time or halt public comments that do not adhere to the guidelines. I'd like to invite to the podium Ariel T., the League of Women Voters promotion of board efforts in, pro in producing quality education and youth engagement. All right. Uh, first, I want to thank y'all for having me. Uh, good evening. I am a RELT. I'm speaking on behalf of the League of Women Voters, uh, as well as one of the leaders of the League's Youth Council. I'm a graduate of Berkeley County Schools, uh, and I also attend College of Charleston, majoring in political science and concentration in public policy. 
On behalf of the league and myself personally, I want to thank you for the service that you provide on the school board. And you have one of the most difficult but important jobs in public service. The League of Women Voters supports public education and its excellence uh, in public schools. Quality public education for all children sustains our democracy as well as maintains our economy. Speaking of democracy, through Brock Beaver, K-12 social studies teacher, coordinator for Berkeley County School District, and Jane Pulling, retired educator and a member of the league as well, uh, we have had a very successful voter registration events in Berkeley County High Schools all around. We are so grateful for this opportunity and to be welcomed as the league has been in Berkeley County Schools. We also wish to continue our efforts to promote youthful participation in democracy. And now the League uh, has exciting new programs in, to engage youth in democracy. Uh, the program is supported on the national level by the uh, National League of Women Voters uh, in participation, uh, or in particular, it will work to mitigate the widespread disparities among young voting among African Americans, the Latino community, and young people with no college experience. The League is deeply concerned about excellence in public education, and the vast majority of our children here go to public schools. The United States depends on their leadership and their participation as informed voters. Democracy is not a spectator sport, and I hope that everyone sitting on this board acknowledges that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like to invite Jason Jones to the podium concerning concern with curriculum and standardized testing concerning my, his child at Kane Hoy Elementary School. He maybe gave up on us. Last, we'd like to invite to the podium uh, Runette Ford. Um, the nature of the question concern is support. Ms. Ford. Madam Chair, Superintendent Ingram, ladies and gentlemen of the board, thank you so much for your time tonight. My name is Renette Ford and I'm a retired teacher of 33 years from Berkeley County as well as a former member of Berkeley County Teacher Forum. You know what they say, once a teacher, always a teacher. No matter where you go or what you do, you can never truly get out of teaching. So tonight I stand before you to ask for your support. I know you are aware of the teacher movement that is swelling across the nation as teachers are speaking up to ask for much needed changes. We have a wonderful group here in South Carolina, South Carolina for Ed, of which I am proud to be a part of. Each week we wear red for Ed to show solid excuse me, to show solidarity among teachers across the nation. This show of solidar solidarity has sparked much needed conversations around our district, state, and count country. You've heard teachers speak up at the meeting held at Charleston Southern University and again the following night in Columbia regarding House Bill 3759 that is currently in legislation. I cannot begin to tell you how proud I was to be a part of this teacher group as I was listening to the live feed from Columbia two weeks ago. For over five hours, they gave passionate speeches as they testified before the Education Subcommittee. If you have not heard these speeches, I encourage you to go to the South Carolina State House website to view the video archives from February 12th. With that being said, Berkeley County has always prided itself on being on the cutting edge and showing support for their teachers. You have even shown it in your mission statement, core values, and goals. We need that continued support as teachers in our district and around the state continue to speak up and take action, not only for ourselves, but for our students. We need to be able to do this without fear of repercussion from administration. After all, after all, our common goal has always been to do what is best for our students. As our board, we ask that you be in one of three places for us. 
Number one, in front of us to cheer us on. Number two, behind us to have our backs. And number three, next to us, that we are not walking alone. To quote a former student of mine who travels all over the country as a motivational speaker, the mission is coming. Are you ready? In closing tonight, I'd like to say to you, a change is coming. Are you ready? Will you stand with us or against us? Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. We'll now move on to agenda item 6A, action items as required from executive session. Madam Chair, in the matter of student number one, I move that we grant the expulsion appeal and allow the child to attend the alternative school. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan, a second by Mr. Wright to assign student number one to the alternative school. Is there any discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. No. The ayes have it. Student number two. Madam Chair, in the matter of student number two, I move that we grant the expulsion appeal and allow the child to return to their home school on strict probation. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan, a second by Mr. Wright, to grant the expulsion appeal and return the student to the home school on strict probation. Is there any additional discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Aye. The ayes have it. Student number three. <clears throat> Madam Chair, in the matter of student number three, I move that we grant the expulsion appeal and allow the child to attend the alternative school. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan. Second by Ms. Littleton to grant... <clears throat> The expulsion appeal and assign the child to alternative school. Is there any additional discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. <coughs> the ayes have it. Student number four. Madam Chair, in the matter of student number four, I move that we grant the expulsion appeal and allow the child to return to their home school on strict probation. Second. There's a motion by Mr. McQuillan, a second by Ms. Littleton, to grant the attendance appeal of student number four, I'm sorry, to grant the expulsion appeal of student number four and return the student to the home school on strict probation. Is there any additional discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. <clears throat> the ayes have it. <clears throat> We'll now move on to committee reports from the standing committees. First, a report from the Committee on Academics and Innovation, Chairwoman Ann Condor. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Next items on the agenda, oh, I'm sorry, Madam Chairman. Committee on Academics and Innovation met on February the 12th, 2019. On recommendation of the committee, I moved to approve the Head Start Budget Expenditures Report for December 2018 and the Head Start credit card report for December 2018. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to adopt the career and technical education textbooks as submitted by administration for second reading. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Also on recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the 2019-2020 instructional calendar for second reading as presented by administration. We have a recommendation from committee, so no second is required. Is there any further discussion? I did have a request to line up our spring break with Charleston spring break. That is not the calendar that we were brought forth. Um, I actually had two separate requests for that. Is there any entertainment in lining up our spring break with Charleston County spring break? We are in line with Dorchester's. We're this calendar is in line with Dorchester's. Yes. Charleston needs to get in line. Charleston needs it. <laughs> well, I don't think we picked in time. So we line up with Dorchester now. So if we change, we line up with Charleston and not with Dorchester. Any opinions? When is Charleston? 
It's um, earlier in March. It's like three weeks before this. It's not. It's not around Easter. Madam Chair, I move not to align with any other county due to the fact that so many children will be out at the same time. Yeah, we'll do our own thing. Well, I know there's mo there's mamas that teach in one district and kiddos that go to school in the other school district, and then that that mom or dad is on spring break when the kiddos aren't spring spring break, huh? That's you. We're speaking to Mr. Jackson. Okay. Well, I had to throw it out there. It was brought to my attention when people bring me stuff. I try hard to put it out here. So, what, what do you you want us to move it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he went like. Well, this. I also think too. People have already started making their travel plans. plans. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like we need to probably just decide earlier. Maybe if we decide earlier, they'll follow us. I hate for us to be out of sync with the others, but. Um, I, I think say. Charleston County is choosing to be out of sync with the rest of the county. I don't think we ought to say. Yes. Did they? They did. We tried. We tried. Okay. Well, we tried. We discussed. So, um, so this is the motion to approve the 1920 um, instructional calendar. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Also, Madam Chairwoman, um, on recommendation of the committee, I moved to waive Friday, September 14th, 2018, and Thursday, October the 11th, 2018, as days missed due to Hurricane Florence and Hur Hurricane Michael, in accordance with South Carolina House Bill 3890. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it, and my kids are very happy. Madam Chairman, that concludes my report. Next on uh, the agenda is the Committee on Finance and Human Resources, Chair Michael Ramsey. Madam Chairwoman, the Committee on Finance and Human Resources met on February 12, 2019. On recommendation of the committee, I move to approve the out-of-state travel request as presented. We have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Madam Chairwoman, that concludes my report. Next is the committee meeting on uh, facilities and capital planning. Chair Mac McQuillan. Madam Chairwoman, the Committee on Facilities and Capital Planning met earlier this evening. On recommendation of the committee, I move to grant the superintendent the authority to deed or donate, and did we change it, 0.37 acres? Yeah, 0.37 acres to Berkeley County for construction of the Sangaree Royal Road roundabout. Second. We have a we have a recommendation from committee. No second is required. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Madam Chairwoman, that concludes my report. Thank you. Next is agenda item 10A, the superintendent's report, Dr. Ingram. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman, board members, uh, staff, members of the audience. Uh, this past Saturday, I had the privilege of speaking with some young men at their retreat at the Monk's Corner AME Church. Uh, it was a heartfelt meeting and certainly enjoyed interacting with the young people there. Uh, this past weekend, we were very busy. The Stratford, A Stratford wrestler, Preston Soriano, won the 5A individual championship at the 126-pound weight class. And Goose Creek wrestler, Israel Schultz, won the 5A individual championship in the 120-pound weight class. Congratulations to both young men on their achievement. On Saturday evening, I traveled to Florence to take in the Goose Creek girls basketball team and the Berkeley High boys basketball team as they defeated teams from their respective counterparts from Lexington High School. Both teams will vie for the state championship this coming Friday evening at the first Colonial Arena in Columbia. Goose Creek has a rematch with Spring Valley That's in, from Richland, Richland 2 at 5 p.m. I believe Spring Valley beat Goose Creek last year in the semifinals. And Berkeley, uh, the Berkeley High boys, will face Dorman for their championship from Spartanburg 6 at 8.30. Uh, both games are at the Colonial first Colonial Arena in Columbia. Thursday evening, uh, the Goose Creek uh, branch of the NAACP and the United States Postal Service presented the program Black Migrations. 
the 2019 Black History Program and stamp unveiling. It is my understanding that a print of the stamp suitable for framing will be dis displayed at Goose Creek High, and thanks to Dr. Levine for orchestrating that event or having a heavy hand in that, and thanks to uh, other cabinet members who were able to attend. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be visiting some classrooms at the Daniel Island School. Thursday evening, we will have our community meeting, as we talked about earlier today, uh, regarding some potential attendance line shifts in the Sangaree area. Friday morning, I'll be visiting Bowen's Corner, and I'll also be meeting with House Member Crystal Simmons regarding education legislation. Uh, and Friday afternoon, I'll be traveling to the Colonial Life Arena to cheer on our basketball teams. For, uh, we'll be cheering for Goose Creek and Berkeley to victory in the state 5A finals. So we're excited about that. Thanks to Nick Snyder for being here. Uh, Barbara Weber, I see you back there. Thank you. And you've got some staff with you tonight. Would you mind introducing them? I hate putting you on the spot, but I don't want our teachers to go unnoticed. Thank you for coming. Right. Thank you for very much. Thank you for what you do. And I'm in the red for Ed. So on a board, I ordered two new red ties. So on a board, board, board meeting night, you'll see me in red ties. So, so thank you very much, Madam Chairwoman. That concludes my report for the evening. So this is about as red as I get. I might have to invest in more red, more redder. Um, upcoming events for the board: um, Berkeley High School boys and Goose Creek girls are in Columbia Friday night. Um, Seven o'clock for Goose Creek and eight thirty for Berkeley. Um, two five A teams um, competing for a state championship is very impressive. And if you haven't seen either one of these teams play, you have missed out those boys are good but those girls are really good they're both very entertaining um also thursday at sangaree at 6 p.m we need um we'll need a quorum because it's going to be an actual board meeting so if you are not able to attend how about let me know because i want to make sure we've got a quorum there so we can take action um, and that's all i have so now we'll entertain a motion to adjourn so moved madam chair Second. There's a motion by Mr. Wright, a second by Ms. Condor to adjourn. Is there any additional discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the question. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. We are adjourned. <laughs>